Okay, so let's talk about what we need to make a motorcycle dyno. First thing we're going to need is we're going to need a big, heavy rotating mass that we can use to calculate the force, so something that spins. For a small motorcycle, we can use the rear tire. For a bigger motorcycle, we can get something big and heavy from a junkyard like a used AC motor. So this will be free or almost free. Next thing we need is we're going to need a sensor to measure how fast this is spinning. So we'll put a magnet there and we'll have a hall sensor. And a hall sensor is about $10 on eBay. So, boom, hall sensor. Next thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need something that can pull the data from our sensors together. So there is a guy who's got a YouTube channel called Two Stroke Stuffing and he makes an Arduino PCB chip. And that costs about $10, free shipping. Next thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need some sort of microcontroller to get the data from this PCB and assimilate it and translate it to a computer. So that we're going to need a Arduino, also about $10. The Arduino is then gonna to connect to a computer where we're gonna need some software to analyze all the data and the software is free. I'll put a link in the description. So it looks like in total, the cost for this whole setup is going to be about $30. And I'm assuming you are not a peasant and you've got Amazon Prime. All right. This is my 125cc race bike. Let's set up all the sensors and get the dyno working. Okay, so we put a uh, magnet here on the brake rotor. We have the hall sensor mounted up. And if you watch, when the magnet crosses the sensor, it lights up so it sends a signal. So we got our rotating mass and our sensor all set up. All right, only other sensor we're gonna hook up is we're gonna wrap a bit of coax wire on the spark plug wire, and we're gonna take the shielding and we're gonna follow that black wire, we're gonna ground it to the battery. And we'll hook that up to the Arduino controller as well, and we will have the RPM pickup. All right, we are all hooked up and we are ready to go, hopefully. You guys can see the screen okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. All right, and we are gonna do a power run. So, looks like we made about 13.6 uh, kilowatts, 13.9 pound-feet, max RPM 11,000. So, we'll tweak this a little bit and clean it up.